Hey, what's going on guys? Rob from Clicks Geek, and in today's video I'm going to walk you through a roofing repair um, replacement landing page and just kind of the specifics on how we get our pages, how they're structured, how to get them converting at 20% plus. Now this one is for the roofing niche. Um, everything is just generic information. Obviously, whatever landing page software you're using, you want to have something that has an A-B test function because you should always be constantly testing your pages to with different headlines and call to actions and stuff like that to um, improve your conversion rates. 20% uh, is pretty good for roofing. We have roofers that are in the 25 to 27 range um, still testing. We want to get it more than that, obviously, but that's pretty great considering most, most cases, at least from what we come across in our campaign audits, these guys are getting conversion rates anywhere from 2 to 8%. So that said, let's, uh, let's get right into it today. This is our page, right? So this is our mock-up page in our Instapage landing page software. And I'll kind of just scroll through just so you can see it briefly from a bird's eye view, and then I'll break it down. Right, so we have different sections, and it's all pretty basic, right? Really basic page. There's not even many pictures. There's not really much of anything. It's, it's a very basic page, and that's done on purpose because we don't want bells, whistles, distractions. We don't want people seeing videos. We don't want, we don't want to add more variables to the page. We want to control as much as possible on the page. We only want people to call, submit a form, or leave. That's it. We don't want them bouncing around different pages or links or anything like that. Right? So right off the bat, we're going to go through the desktop version, then I'll go through the mobile version. Now this page, I should say this, this page is designed to pull mobile traffic. We don't even run desk, desktop traffic to this page. So keep that in mind when you're going through it. Pretty much all the lead gen, local lead gen campaigns we do are only uh, mobile traffic just because we, we really want those phone calls. They're way more valuable than contact form leads. So keep that in mind when we're going. All right, so first off we have our logo. So you'll have your client's logo here and then a phone number. Now for this one, there is no call to action above the phone number. You can obviously add one, and you should. I'm not really sure what happened to the one up here. It must have been through our testing. We got rid of it, or this is just the latest version. I'm not sure. So you have your phone number, logo, and that's the uh, first header. Then we have the main header, roof repair and replacement experts. That's your, this is where you put your main call to action or let the traffic know that's coming to the page, hey, you, we know you searched for roofing repair or roof replacement. This is, we do that. We do that. They see that in the first two seconds they land on the page that they that this page does this client who has this page does roofing repair same day roofing repair services or so now we're saying we can help you solve your problem quickly call for your free estimate today we're saying call right now <clears throat> and let's chat on the phone about your problem um, obviously test this up change up different stuff you want to have different call to actions and try and bump that conversion rate as much as possible and then we come down here and we have our contact form box, speak with a roofer immediately. If you take a minute to either give us a call, then just a clickable. Every number should be clicked to call on your page, by the way, on mobile. Fill out the form below. One of our experts can touch with you shortly. Name, email, phone, type of service needed. So this is really important. Um, kind of figure out what they want. You can even do a message box here and just say, tell us about your roofing issue. Um, button call to action, yes, please call me. Information is secure. Uh, next, we have on the left side more just call to actions, listing quick hit of what their services are, that what the client does. Even though we're going to drop it here, some people don't make it down that far, right? So we try and hit them with as much information in as little amount of space as possible before, so we don't, so we pique their interest at least for them to keep going. We can be on site today, right? So again, we're telling them, we're reassuring them, we can solve your problem today. We know roofing's an emergency. If you have water coming through your roof or your Ceiling, you gotta have that fixed immediately. Call now and we'll set up your free estimate. Then uh, click the call number. All right, so little check boxes here, emergency roofing, need service now. Again, we're pressing that pain point that you need the service now. Roofing repairs, so th this is where we will list, um, there are these two boxes here where we will list their repairs for different things. So roofing repairs, roof replacements, installations, and all that stuff, and then kind of goes through that. So these are just the quick hit little call to action things here. Then we come down, here's where we'll list out everything they do. Roof repairs, new roof installs, replacement, financing available. So the bottom three, I kind of, you can use this for all services. Like if this guy, if you're a roofer and you're doing gutters and you're doing 
flashing repair, that's where I would put all of these stuff. You can even add more, right? It doesn't have to be just six. I only have six because for whatever reason, the demo client we set this up with only wanted this stuff. So you can put as much as you want. So um, when it was only three services they wanted, replacement, install, repair, I then just used the bottom three and just put in more call to actions and kind of hooks that they offered, the client offered, which was financing. Um, they're very big on family owned. So the family owns the company, very small company, um, fully licensed, insured, whatever you put there, it doesn't really matter. Areas we service, so insert company name, insert all locations and surrounding areas, right? So this is where you list out all the locations that the client services or you service because then you're talking to people specifically. If somebody's, if you're running a Google Ads campaign and it's, let's say it's Philadelphia and they don't see Philadelphia in areas they service, they're immediately going to lose interest and leave the page. So it's really important that whatever locations you're targeting in Google, you're at least listing them and surrounding areas that you target as well. I know it may seem like overkill, but trust me, this always helps conversion rate. It, it, it just does. People want to see that you're speaking directly to them. Here we will drop three images. So basically three images of um, whatever the client's previous work was. And guys, I cannot stress this enough. Do not use Shutterstock stock photos if you can. Right. I mean, at least if you do try and find the ones that look like they're real people, not just smiling with their hard hat on, like pointing out in the sunset. You don't want to do stuff like that because it's not authentic. Um, and authenticity wins when it comes to landing page conversion rates. So the more real you can do, the more the better. Like the picture of your work truck and your crew standing in front of it or your crew on a roof climbing up a ladder, carrying shingles, doesn't matter. As long as it's authentic, that's what's going to help conversion rates. Then we come down the next session section is uh, testimonials. So here's where you'll add your testimonials. Now, if you don't have testimonials, um, you can you can skip this section, although I highly recommend you at least try and get one or two to put here. Just it's a trust factor. And then usually below testimonials, you can put some badges, like if you're a Better Business Bureau or you're certified in something or Angie's List, whatever. Whatever your badges are, your trust badges, that always helps in the trust section, which is what I call the testimonial section to help build your trust and authenticity as well. Final call to action, persistent roof services, um, call, you know, insert company name today at blah, blah, blah. So not a heavy, heavy call to action at the bottom because we're already hitting on so many call to actions. And then um, down here, you have your final, well, we put our call extension number here, but that's where you put that. So that's really it, a really basic page. That's kind of the walkthrough. This page, like again, this page is roofers. It converts at 20% plus. I believe it bounces between 20 and 24%. So if we go into the mobile page, which is where all the traffic we get comes, you'll see here it's a big logo, main phone number, tells what the page does, call to actions. Then they go right to the form, speak with a roofer immediately. And then we hit them with all of our stuff, all of our services. Areas we service, we'll list out all of our locations, and we have our image, our authentic, authentic images, testimonials, and then again, if you want to add badges below this, you could, and we'll just move all this down, and then the final call to action. So that is kind of the anatomy of a high converting landing page. They don't need to be this gigantic, beautiful page, and I know some business owners are very particular about how things should be, how they should be laid out, but in the grand scheme of things, that doesn't matter. What matters is you're running a Google Ads campaign that's getting you phone calls for jobs, which is creating money and revenue for your business. So the landing page should not matter what it looks like. It's kind of actually irrelevant. Is, does it work? Yes or no? That That's all that matters. Because we see a lot of guys get way too hung up on, well, I don't like the edges on this corner of this box. Like, let's, let's take those in. Let's round those out. Let's do this. Let's do that. Let's change the color of this word to something else. That, that's all irrelevant. You don't need to do any of that stuff. If the page works, leave it alone. That's our philosophy with everything we do. If we have a page that works and you have a 25% conversion rate, 20% conversion rate, whatever, and you're getting leads at an affordable price that you can sustain and you're making money, don't touch anything. If it's not broken, don't mess with it. That's the best way I can describe how these pages work. And if you're an agency owner and you're building these pages for your clients, I would work that into your sales process. Really, like, listen, we already have pages that work. They're templated, so we know this page works in dozens of mar like we know this page works in dozens of markets in the, for roofers across the entire country. So there's no reason to reinvent the wheel with this one. 
and I know you might get pushback from a client, but that you got to try to make them understand like, listen, this is what's going to drive you phone calls. The whole reason you're running Google ads is to generate phone calls for your roofing company, right? We don't want to start making changes that could throw off what we know already works. Cause once you start making changes to your template, now you're in uncharted waters and you have no idea if this is going to turn into phone calls and leads or not. And that's the best way that you guys should present that to a client who's giving you a big pushback on the landing page design or schematics or, or whatever, because it does happen. We come across all the time. We've actually turned down deals over it where we, we have one of our templated uh, campaigns and landing pages. We rolled it out a, a, pa a page and a template that works in literally, I think 48 states, something like that. It was all across the country. And the guy was like, no, I, I want you to add this. I want you to add this. I want you to change this, this, and this. And we were like, listen, we wish you the best of luck. We refunded his, his, uh, his uh, management fee and we're like we wish you the best of luck it's not going to be a fit because we know what works and we don't have the time to start testing and off of people's whims of what they want to add so I, I like again a little off track there but my point is guys if you're an agency make sure that if you have something that works that you stick with it and try not to just riff off of what someone's telling you to add or not add all right, so I've taken off your time. It's like a 11 minute video. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of here. Feel free to uh, take this page or the layout, whatever you want to do, and um, use it for yourself. Test it out. Again, I would, I would definitely change it. Add tweaks. Add new call to actions. And remember, with your, when it comes to landing pages that convert, it's always best to try and uh, get them, get them A/B tested. You always want to be split testing stuff to make sure you're improving the conversion rate. Also, I forgot to mention, if you guys want to learn more about landing pages, we have a course for that. It's in the description below. There's a link for that. Or if you want to work with us, if you're a roofer, you can apply to work with us in the description as well. All right, guys, I will see you in tomorrow's video.